the conservative advocacy group responsible for the controversial so-called doxing trucks that released the names and faces of pro-Palestinian Harvard students in October returned this week with a fleet of trucks and vans stationed outside the campus residence of Harvard President Claudine Gay, who has been the target of widespread criticism from lawmakers and university donors over her response to questions about anti-Semitism on campus. Accuracy in media staged so-called doxing trucks at Harvard in October, with trucks stationed on campus listing the names and faces of Harvard students who issued a statement putting sole blame on Israel for Hamas' October 7 attack. It also sent trucks to Columbia, naming students who signed a statement urging the school to cut ties with apartheid Israel. Adam Gillette, the president of Accuracy in Media, told Forbes at the time the trucks were intended to expose anti-Semitism, claiming the Harvard and Columbia students whose names and faces were displayed, are proud anti-Semites. Those trucks, however, faced heavy criticism from students, school leadership and student groups, including the Harvard Hillel Jewish Center, which told the Harvard Crimson it, strongly condemns any attempt to threaten and intimidate students, who sign the statement. Pressure has mounted in recent weeks for Gay, Magill and Kornbluth to resign following the trio's testimony at the hearing, before the GOP-led House Committee on Education and the Workforce last week, and amid reports of rising anti-Semitism on campus. Two days after the hearing, a group of 74 House members, including 72 Republicans and two Democrats, signed a letter demanding the three university presidents be, immediately, fired, and for the universities to submit an, actionable plan to ensure that Jewish and Israeli students, teachers and faculty are safe, adding, anything less than these steps will be seen as your endorsement, of the president's testimony. Billionaire Harvard donor and hedge fund manager Bill Ackman also urged Gay, Magill and Kornbluth to resign, in disgrace. Arguing in a letter posted on X the three presidents have shown, profound educational, moral and ethical failures that pervade certain of our elite educational institutions. Gay later apologized amid calls to resign, telling the Harvard Crimson she wished she had returned to her, guiding truth, which is that calls for violence against our Jewish community, have, no place at Harvard and will never go unchallenged. Magill resigned from her post on Saturday. Harvard governing body unanimously backs Claudine Gay as president. Forbes. Doxing truck. Takes Columbia. Here's what to know about the trucks that post names of students. Forbes.